Hey, what up, guys? It is Mac HD Tutorials over here bringing you a new tutorial on the YouTube API. Now, the reason why I'm doing the YouTube API is because uh, it was requested by a whole bunch of networks, and I guess they wanted to learn it. So, I did do a couple of examples for a network on the YouTube API, and I also YouTubed it. And really, this the reason why I YouTube is to see if someone else did it. No one has done it before, so I'm like, great, I'll be the first one. Awesome. So really, I'm gonna do it on JavaScript because I saw a couple like three videos on PHP. I actually haven't taught you guys PHP, so this could be some good practice on JavaScript because we just finished learning JavaScript. Now, guys, I recommend you learn, you watch my 14, I don't know how many videos, I could check right now through the API, 13. I recommend you watch all 13 videos of the JavaScript tutorials because this stuff is really confusing and advanced. But if you know JavaScript, go right ahead. This is just going to be an intro, and I'm going to be showing you guys uh, like an introduction of the YouTube API in this video. So basically, this is an example. So if I click, these are all generated. This is not just me typing the name through JavaScript, I mean, through uh, HTML. So basically, here it gets me the analytics of my channel. It says channel analytics. So how does it do that first? It's going to ask for permission to view your stuff. So you click accept or deny. I clicked accept, but you're like, wait, when did you do this? The reason is that you only connect once and I haven't disconnected my account from this application that I uploaded to uh, Orbitals network. It's a cool network and I have permission to upload stuff. So uh, basically here, it's showing the Alan analytics. Sorry about that. Of my channel, and basically that's all generated from the YouTube API. Now it's pretty cool. You can build like dashboards, like full screen has a dashboard. I know it's pretty cool. And it's really not that hard. A lot of people don't know the YouTube API because it's so complicated. Uh, Google doesn't really do a good job at explaining it, giving really good examples. You actually only give like one example on their website. But other than that, guys, I also want to explain how this works. So basically, you click accept. Let me just see, or right, two minutes in. So you click accept, and it's going to check your project. Now, you need on our first tutorial, we're going to set up everything. So the tutorial is just an introduction. So you need access, API, application, access. So basically, you're gonna, I'm not really supposed to let you guys see that, but whatever. You're gonna get access through here. You're gonna send this to the API. It's gonna check the URL. If the URL is equal to this, and the beginning is, I'm gonna show you an example right now, real quick. I'm just gonna edit this real quick. I'm gonna add like a, another K. So it's just two Ks, two Ks. And it's going to see the origin as failed watch. So I updated that. I'm going to refresh this page. It checks the API and boom. Now the reason why it's asking me, hey, you haven't, you, connect, you haven't connected your account yet? And I have actually. The reason why it says that is because now it's th it thinks that it's a different, a different project. You know, these are called projects, you know, make a new project, blah, blah. So, you know, I'm going to click, all right, authorize. So let me connect my channel, but I can't because I, don't, I can't get access because the origin is wrong. So basically, I hope you guys understood that. Now if I change it back, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, where did I change it? Edit. I'm going to delete the K on both. I'm going to update it and I'm going to refresh the page. I already do have access from this. It loads it from the YouTube API. And there you guys have it. I have my analytics from my channel here. And look, it shows my subscribers gain, blah, blah, and so on and so on. So basically, that's it for today. Tomorrow, we're going to be learning on uh, how to do other stuff like uh, probably, oh, no, I'm positive that next tutorial, we're probably going to do like setting up the projects, this part, and also introducing how to organize it because really the code is really messy i mean if the code is really messy you're not really going to understand it 
and really you could do some really cool stuff with this you could build a dashboard and user-friendly website so <clears throat> that's basically it guys and uh see you tomorrow